Hello friends, welcome back. Today I am going to do a very, very simple 12 by 12 layout using the Born to Bloom collection from Rosie Studios. I really wanted to challenge myself to use these butterfly embellishments in kind of like a big way. These are going to be the statement on my layout. So although it is very difficult to see. I do have a 12 by 12 piece of white cardstock as my base and I've got a 3 by 4 inch horizontal photo. Now I'm going to use uh, 6 of the butterflies. I'm not going to be able to fit all 8 on here. I'm going to end up using 6. Uh, I want to create a rainbow of butterflies so I've picked out six coordinating papers from the 6 by 6 paper pad. Uh, and really when I say coordinating, I mean as best as I can. Uh, there's, I'm going to use one of the kind of lime or green butterflies and there's a very subtle lime green. You can see what I'm saying. It's like uh, the essence of the rainbow colors. You can see them here. There's the six papers. Uh, I've cut them all out. I die cut uh, little tags and I also did the ring reinforces. So I've used those same six um, papers but just mixed them up uh, so they've all got kind of a different different contrasting ring reinforcer on them and then I went and grabbed six oxide inks um, again in kind of the closest colors that I can get I'm just using a bit of packaging here as um, a palette and I'm adding a little bit of water and I'm gonna do some splatters so uh, if you know me, <laughs> you know, I'm always a little bit afraid of the mixed media on these layouts. Uh, but as a first step <laughs> like this, maybe it's maybe I'm not so afraid of doing it because it is a little bit harder to mess up when there is nothing but white cardstock there. Uh, so I'm going to start at the top and work my way down in rainbow order. I think the only thing that I probably made, not a mistake, but um. The, the two kind of orange yellows that I've used maybe should have been in reverse. Uh, they weren't quite right for the papers that they're going to be next to. But I mean, at the end of the day, you can you can hardly tell. Uh, and I'm going to add again, just in the rainbow orders, um, the like this lime green one. It's not uh, the exact same lime green as on the paper, obviously. And this one here, I decided that I had definitely not pulled the right color ink uh, in comparison to the pattern paper. It probably was the right color ink to match the um, the butterfly embellishment that I'm going to use, but maybe not the paper. And the paper is what's going to be sitting closest to those splatters. So I was really trying to match the paper rather than the butterflies on those occasions. So there's all my splatters. I get all the way down to the bottom and realize I've used like way more at the end than I did at the start. So I'm going to go back in and add a little bit more pink. Uh, and then of course, if you have any patience at all, you could let this dry. I did not have patience. So I hit it with my heat gun uh, very gently. You can see it warped the paper a little bit. I didn't prep the cardstock in any way, shape or form. Um, it's not a whole lot of mixed media on there and it did flatten out quite nicely. I've got the layout beside me here. Once it all sort of cools down and settles down, it flattens out not too badly. Now I'm going to, uh, I did use my ruler and my calculator to try to work out kind of how far apart these tags need to sit. Uh, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it in the end. I couldn't, couldn't get a clear decision here. So I'm going to start at the top and the bottom, although it looks like I'm going right to left but that's only because I flipped the uh, flipped the cardstock around so it was easier for me to work on. I'm adding some foam dots under the kind of flat edge of the tag and then just some tape runner on the other end so that they're this got a little bit of uh, dimension but I wanted it flatter at the bottom or in towards the center of the layout because I am going to do some stitching on here. Uh, now the, the video that you see is a little bit shorter, <laughs> considerably shorter uh, than what this layout actually took me to do and I'll be honest I've, I've lost some of the footage so at the end I'm going to jump ahead to some uh, finished shots to show you but really you missed nothing except an hour and a half of me stitching white stitches onto this layout so honestly uh, rest assured you did not miss a whole lot. 
The rest of the layout that I'm going to do here is, is really, really simple. I just adhered my photo straight down onto the cardstock. I didn't even bother matting it this time. I think that the simplicity of this layout is kind of what I really love. And there's a whole lot of texture going to come from the stitching. Like there's, there's a lot of little details in here. It didn't need any extras. And I really wanted to keep the focus on this kind of ombre rainbow effect that I'm going to have with the tags and the butterflies. So my photo went straight down onto the cardstock and then I'm adding my title just like directly off this puffy sticker sheet. Uh, sunshine, I'm using the little words after it, sunshine on my mind and I even popped in the little accent banner underneath it. It was just so perfect um, and it fit the width of my photo really nicely. So like I said, it's, I think it's about four, it might even be a little bit longer, I think it might be four and a half inches, but it was perfect. It was like kismet, it was meant to be. Uh, as are these little rainbow butterflies here, I'm going to just sprinkle them around the white space still in the kind of rainbow order and until I work out exactly where I want these little butterflies to be I'm trying to be like trying to have a light touch in here uh try not to stick them down too much until I know exactly where I want them to be and then I'm just grabbing my pencil and very very lightly drawing some little wiggly curvy lines to illustrate the butterflies flying out from the tags so each tag um like each butterfly so I'm starting with the blue one down here uh it's blue line it's blue wiggly line is going to go all the way to the blue tag and so on and so forth for all six of those tags and this is the reason that I wanted that um tag to be flat at this end so that here when you can see when I finally end up with the stitching um I can stitch over the edge of the flag and I have stitched a few stitches into those butterflies as well just to make sure that they stay permanently adhered onto my layout. So that's it. Apart from the stitching, which like I said did take me more than an hour, it was a really really simple layout to put together and I absolutely love how that turned out. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to leave a couple of videos on screen for you. Otherwise, I'll see you again really soon. Bye.